Hey guys, what's going on? Anthony from D's Lutz. Stepping out of our DaVinci Resolve box today and going into Premiere Pro so you guys can see how you can add the same D Lutz um, to your footage in Premiere. So we'll jump right into it and we will grab our footage of our what it looks like to be a cool place to hang out. So that's our clip. What you'll want to do is go over into your effects and underneath the video effects you'll know you'll see under color correction here so color correction go down to Lumetieri Lumetieri you want to drop that as soon as you bring that down under your applications you go to DLUTS Cube or 3DL we go 3DL doesn't matter and we're just gonna pick one let's pick Lincoln today we'll pick Lincoln 3DL we'll click open and boom just like that we have added the DLUTS uh, LUT to our Adobe Premiere clip. So you can see on the top left, I'm over here. If you click on FX, you can turn it on where you were to where you are now. Plus play through and see uh, how well that Lincoln looks. It is an interesting look. It is not the most um, robust look but let's let's adjust it and play with it anyway because that's the LUT of the day so the next thing I'm going to want to add is the fast color corrector sort of like how we are able to move our blacks and gamma and DaVinci Resolve we can add the fast color corrector to our footage and down here you know so we'll have our input levels we could slide this down get a little bit more of our blacks in there tap out has a sale going on thank you tap out I will not be buying that this time. So you bring this down, get to adjust our saturation levels, bring it up, let's, let's, let's oversaturate there to about there. Take a look at what we have. Let's make it big. Play through. You know, as you can see, it plays back, you know, with, with, with Premiere, you can go over into quarter and then we get smoother playback, but it won't be obviously as crystal clear but at least we won't be dropping frames we're still dropping frames i think but let's go back into full just want to show you guys that real quick just so you if you didn't know how to change the uh, resolution playback and that is that for now and that is how you add your DLUTS LUT to your adobe premiere and if you want to go back in and you do want to change it say you work on it for a bit you don't like it you mess around with the color wheel you add this Oh, that's nice. Eh, it's a little too blue. Bring it back. No, that's not a, that's not a bad look right there. Actually, let's look at that. Choppy, choppy. Yep, choppy, choppy. So that's not bad. And you got to you go go in. You add your sharpening. You drop your sharpening onto the footage. Scroll down. I usually like to go to like twenty as a base and we'll sit around right around there and that's our clip and what i was going to do i was going to show you how to change the look in lumetary see it says link in here you click on this little setup it'll open up where we were and we can drop down and we can go right into salisbury steak and change it whoa not a big fan of that one but i'm sure it's workable it's just not set up properly so let's click on that again we'll click one more and then we'll get you out of here for the day Man, Liverpool. Let's do Liverpool. Add on that. Add that. So that's how you work your 3D LUTs from D LUTs in your Adobe Premiere. And thanks for watching. I am Anthony. Uh, you can ask me any questions, concerns, comments. Comments below. I'll put a link to D LUTs below. And have a great day. Thanks for watching. Once again, we did this in under five minutes, and I'm happy about that. Have a great day, everybody.